you guys. I, uh, I well, it's not exactly a request, but um, I'm gonna be doing something for someone. It's to for a uh, Photoshop and how I make my backgrounds. Um, new Webkins gal fifty eight wants to know how I make them and how to like import the picture thing on the background. So I'm gonna show her. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm gonna be making a Webkins Girlio 87s because uh, she's the next one on the list thing. So I'm gonna be making it for her. So here we go, and yeah, so I use Photoshop. So here we go. Okay, so first you're gonna wanna open the picture thing. Uh, where's the green stripes? And yeah, so that's open there. It's green, right? Hopefully, okay. And then open, where is it? There we go. And now, uh, usually, like, do here in the eraser part. I usually do magic eraser tool, as you can see, but then it kind of erases the clover puppy, so I I don't use that for, like, white pictures, like, when they're really white, which I hate the weapons that are white, because then I can never, like, make the picture. So what I do is I go to this little thingy here I click it and then yeah um I just go around it it like this yeah so that's what I do and then yeah okay so once I did that I go here like so it can take out the picture thing from that little thing and then I click on the arrow with jig and then since it's like out like that I just bring it in here um like this and then um uh you see here you have like all these things I don't know what they're called I just know they're things and then I click on the layers one and then you can change layers so you can like have this one and then you can have this one because like when you have this one you cannot move this doggy but when you have it on the layer of the doggy you can move it. And then to get the glow thing I right click it, do blending options and then I do outer glow and then uh, I just do this white thingy. <laughs> I usually make it white all the time. and then to see which one is the best, I like see which one is the best. So that's what I do next. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so now I start making the background. You know, whatever. You get the point. Okay, so I just put the name. Let me just see. Kids. And I make it bigger using this little thing and I change this font thing to that font I always put to that font and then over here how I make them like see throughish thing and little styles I click this thing right there this style right here this 3D one see if you take it out it's like that and then when you put it it's like that okay yep now I put all these writing and stuff, and now um, I usually like, make like, the background and everything. So I go to the brush tool right there, click it, and then there's all these brushes I have. Brushes, 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 and so now I just like get any of them, and like okay, I'll just use this one. bigger it's too bigger okay um 
Okay, now to like undo something. I don't probably know this, but I do Alt Z. Oh, so uh, Control Alt Z. Yeah. Um. So that's how I do it. And yeah, so I just like click everywhere. And to change the color, I'm pretty sure you already knew this, but just change the color here. Let's make it purple, whatever color. I don't care. But I stick to point. So yeah, I just put this on. And as you can see, it's like on the doggy. So I'll just like, so to make it on off the doggy. Um, see, I did it on this one, which was really stupid. But I was supposed to do it on this one. But um, to move, to like get it off the doggy, you just like move the layer and it's gone. Um. And no more thingies on the doggy. Okay, so now I just like put more detail and everything, and yeah. So yeah, I'll show you the finished product after. Okay, so now I'm done. Hopefully that's nice. I like it. <laughs> um, now, ow. Uh, what I do to save it, I go to file. You can see that, like, I zoomed it in, so it's, like, bad. File, and then save as, um, I, okay. Okay, good, okay. I thought there were going to be, like, pictures of me. But, um, and I have to save it, like, as a picture, because if you save it as PSDDD, PDD, um, it won't, like, save it as a picture or save it as this blue thing. Um, so you go down, so you do, like, on the format. Okay, format, and then you click on that, and then you go to JPEG or JPG or JPEG or JPE. Okay, so then you, you just, like, I'm going to name something else because it's not named that. Okay. And there we saved it. And this thing pops up. I just press OK. And then I press no because then it'll be saved as that. So, yep. That's how I make my backgrounds. Thanks for watching. Good, it's close. Bye.